possible evidence in the O.J. Simpson case had the nation frenzy today. More than 20 years later, America still transfixed by a baffling murder trial and a missing weapon. Now, yet another twist in the long-running O.J. Simpson saga. Here's ABC's Matt Gutman. Today, the O.J. Simpson media circus was back in full force. O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson. The O.J. Simpson. Earlier this morning, the LAPD saying it was in possession of a knife, possibly connected to the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ron Goldman. That item has been recovered by robbery homicide investigators. It is being treated as we would all evidence. And suddenly it was like 1994 all over again. As soon as this story broke, news crews started jockeying for prime real estate here on Rockingham Avenue. And just as they did 22 years ago, started lining up their satellite trucks right here in one of the most affluent neighborhoods in the United States. An LAPD officer, now retired, was allegedly handed that knife by a construction worker near the O.J. Simpson property in the late 1990s. Police say he held on to it for 18 years. Do you believe the story? Well, at this point, uh, we have to take it on its face value. Right from the beginning, there were skeptics. This may just be a, a nothing. This, this has happened before. The speculation about the mysterious knife brought the so-called trial of the century front and center yet again. Let's immediately go to a picture in Los Angeles. It was over 20 years ago that 95 million people watched the police chase O.J. Simpson's white Bronco down the freeways of Los Angeles. Five days earlier, O.J.'s ex-wife, Nicole Simpson, and Ron Goldman were found brutally murdered. The murder weapon was never found. And there was a white sheet over Nicole, and all I remember is my mom saying, that's my kid. It was devastating. He was always a good kid. He was fun. He had a good sense of humor. O.J. Simpson was arrested and tried for their murder. Over nine months, no details seem to have been overlooked. The prosecution insisting there was an overwhelming amount of forensic evidence connecting Simpson to the crime scene. His blood and DNA were at the murder scene, along with a size 12 shoe print, O.J. size. And in his Bronco, blood consistent with Ron and Nicole's blood. And in his bedroom, a pair of socks with Nicole's blood. But that bloody glove found at the scene of the crime, you'll remember, it didn't fit. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. The jury agreed. Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder. But 13 years later... We were just robbed at gunpoint by O.J. Simpson. Can you send the uh, police here, please? He was found guilty of a different crime and is currently serving a 33-year sentence in a Nevada prison for robbery and kidnapping. He is eligible for parole next year. O.J. Simpson could confess tomorrow in detail about exactly how he committed the murder, and he still couldn't be retried because of double jeopardy. Over the years, the Simpson trial has never been far from our collective consciousness. Cato Kalin lived in O.J. Simpson's guest house and was a key witness in the trial. Approximately what time was it when you got your food? 9.25, 9.26. Just last year, he spoke to Barbara Walters. Cato, in your opinion, do you think that O.J. murdered Nicole and Ron Goldman? In, in my opinion, yes. I think he's guilty. And now, even a hit TV miniseries airing on FX. Bye. The People versus O.J. Simpson. I'm not a bad person. Cuba Gooding Jr. starring as O.J. Simpson. Because I told him I had nothing to hide! What do I got to hide? And Marsha Clark, played by Sarah Paulson. This is District Attorney Marsha Clark. Where are you? We have a warrant for this man's arrest. Even though Simpson was acquitted, the families of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman did not give up. They sued him in civil court. I could have touched her neck, yes. You mean he could have touched her? This was I a violent episode, wasn't it? It was. Yes, it was. There, he was forced to finally answer the pivotal questions he did not answer in the criminal trial. These are deposition tapes aired on the A&E documentary, O.J. Speaks, The Hidden Tapes. Did you ever strike her? No. Did you ever hurt her? Yes. Did you ever physically hurt her? Yes. A lawyer for the Goldman family, Dan Petrocelli, spent days hammering at O.J.'s tumultuous relationship with Nicole grilling him on the photographs of her bruised and battered face. You caused scars on her face, didn't you? Uh, that's incorrect. Eventually, Simpson admitted 
to hurting Nicole, but wouldn't say how. And you never hurt your wife either, correct? No, I hurt my wife, yes. You never struck her with your hands, correct? I never punched her, yes. You ever bruise her? Yes. I think any marks that's on her, I take full responsibility for. I don't know what else you want me to do. I take total responsibility. Why? For it, because I shouldn't have handled the situation the way I did. The Goldman family won in civil court and were awarded $33 million, money they say Simpson never paid. Zero from the judgment. He has never paid one single penny. Late tonight, law enforcement officials telling ABC News their initial investigation shows the knife found on Simpson's property is not the murder weapon, although they are still doing testing to confirm. Over the years, investigators tell us they've checked out up to 150 knives, none of them connected to the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman. For Nightline, I'm Matt Gutman in Los Angeles.